Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies and gentlemen and everyone watching. I am your host, the Report of the Week, and this is Running On Empty Food Review. And, uh, well, here we are. It's a, uh, you know, it's like a cloudy, rainy day. The first review of 2018. Happy New Year to every one of you watching. And, uh, well, I'm gonna throw a bone this time around. Taco Bell's got a new, a new item out. It's been out for a couple days, so it's, you know, it's still fairly new. It's fairly new, a new release. Um, and they've really been promoting it quite a lot in these last few days. This is their stacker. Now, the big appeal of it, of course, is the price being one dollar. Um, what you're getting for one dollar is essentially, as the name kind of implies, it's a, you know, it's a stack. It has a three cheese blend, nacho cheese, and between that is layers of your taco meat, and you'll see once I kind of get the product out that it's supposed to be stacked up and it's supposed to be just a very, um, you know, ultra value type meal. So it has a lot of that appeal to it, of course, you know, for, for consumers. Well, I could get all this food from Taco Bell without breaking the bank. And, uh, you know, of course, they'll go ahead and they'll say, well, you know, we have so much to offer here for just one dollar. And uh, that's where that stands. So that's the big appeal to the product. That's what the product is. And uh, we'll get to it in a moment. Um, you know, interestingly enough, it's, 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 it's just very interesting to me. And then I'll get to the review after this. Um, their advertising campaign... You know, when I saw it first, and uh, I want to show you something in a in a couple seconds, it's as fascinating. They're going with the theme of like the Illuminati, and of course the Illuminati, and a lot of things like that. And it was just very, very interesting. I also got something from Taco Bell specifically um, in this box here, and the contents are just between you and me. It's but you could see the box right here. It you know goes with their theme, and there were a few. A few things that were in this box and at first when I saw it I thought it was very fascinating and, and genius marketing and I still I still think it is um, but there's a little a little more to it also and this just goes out to Taco Bell only you know who you are I, I just I saw it I looked at it I saw the meanings in those things and it's just very very clever and very creative very creative and that's that's all that I really have to say just extremely extremely creative but I got the message I got it I saw what it was and I got it and I wanted to say that I wanted to get it out there and just make that known uh, now aside from that and with that out of the way let's get to the food review so here's what it comes in it's your stacker it comes in its own little pouch right there uh, you can see stacker stacker, layer upon layer of stacked goodness. Uh, it comes with a little bit of an instructional to it. It says, first bite here. I guess that's where your first bite goes. Looks like the stacker had a little accident, but that's okay. That happens. That's what happens in the world with stackers. It's a risky, risky business, I'll tell you that. Here's what it is. Classic triangle shape as they had marketed it. You can see it just comes down in the corners there. This corner is kind of bursting at the seams a little bit, but you can see it nicely. And, uh, you know, it's like it's, it's, uh, it's you know, bite-sized, handheld. And again, it comes with three cheese blend, nacho cheese, and your uh, standard seasoned beef. No sauce included, so it's up to you if you want to get any. Um, I got some, some of their standard fire sauce, which is my favorite. And with that being said, you know what's in it, I know what's in it, we all know what's in it. I'm going to bite this and I'm going to try it out and, uh, well, here goes. First review of 2017, or, oh no, I said the wrong year. First review of 2018, see what happens to all of us, I'm always, we always get so used to saying the other here. First review of 2018, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to try this out, it's the new stacker from Taco Bell going in.
I'm going to keep eating this, but allow me, if I may, to show you a cross-section. You see now why it is called a stacker, because you can see it is a number of layers of the meat. You can see the bottom layer of the meat, along with the three cheese blend right there in the corner, uh, with nacho cheese spread throughout, stacked upon each other, and it's supposed to be a pretty solid meal for one dollar in price. Got to use the Starbucks napkins because they didn't give me any. I'll take one more bite. Now, I had my worries when it came to this product. Um, admittedly, they were existent, they were present. As soon as I saw this, I had my worries. You know that when I talk about Taco Bell quite a bit, my biggest issue is the nacho cheese. You know, where I say a lot of the time, I find it not to be of the highest quality. I find it to be rather plasticky tasting, and especially in very large amounts. It can be, it could ruin an item, you know. There are so many items I remember reviewing where I would say, if it didn't have this nacho cheese, it would be exponentially better, you know. And when I saw the images of this product as advertised, I saw the three cheese blend, I saw the meat, but it looked as though it was doused with copious amounts of that nacho cheese, and I was so worried for it. In practice, however, I think as you could see, you can see the meat. There's more meat on this than I expected there to be. The three cheese blend is there as well. That's fine. There wasn't too much. It's perfectly spread uh, to add that, you know, to add flavor. The nacho cheese, though, I was so worried that there was going to be a lot of it. As a matter of fact, there was not anywhere near as much of it as I had expected it to be. So that's a very good sign. Um, otherwise, I had worried too much nacho cheese was just going to ruin everything else and provide a big issue. Um, but otherwise, I think there's a good amount of meat on it. It's your standard seasoned beef. Um, the three cheese blend, it's not discernible as a three cheese blend, really. Um, you know, when it comes down to Taco Bell and their cheese quality, you wouldn't be able to differentiate the blends for the most part, um, except that this is cheese cheese, and the other is nacho cheese. Um, but the three cheese blend actually works very nice for this. And the nacho cheese isn't overkill, as a matter of fact. I'm not disappointed in this. There is one thing, though, that I do want to mention when it comes to this product. I find that despite all of the cheese on it, and the cheese blends and all of that, um, it really does need a sauce pairing to kind of, you know, amp it up and give it the final, you know, deal the, deal the final blow in terms of flavor. Uh, so I'm going to put a little bit of fire sauce on it, and I'm just going to see if that hypothesis is true or otherwise. I think it, I think this is going to help it out quite a bit, though. So just putting a little fire sauce on it. Of course, you could substitute it for any sauce of your choice, but I'm trying it with my favorite sauce. Mm-hmm. Yep. I say this is a buy. I really do. I think for a dollar. Mind you, this is just for a buck. Not going to be around forever. This isn't going to be there. This is probably a special promo of some sort. Um, but for what it is, you're getting a lot of food for a dollar. More than I had anticipated. It works out for the best. The sauce, of course, is always complimentary, as is, you know, with any other item. Get this item if you want it. Um, it's not going to break the bank. You'll get some adequate food. You know, get like two or three and you have yourself a full-blown meal. Um, one would be for a good little snack, probably. And make sure you get sauce with it, too, whatever it might be, mild, fire, um, hot, or, or any other type of sauce, because I think that'll amplify the sauce there. That being said, I think it's pretty good, though, for what it's worth, um, especially considering a dollar, and it tastes pretty good. So a big thumbs up to it there. And uh, all things considered, I think out of 10, I'm going to be given this product an 8.8 .8 out of 10. I'm satisfied with it. I think they did a pretty good job. And, uh, 
you know, I'm not, I'm not really disappointed in it. Again, as I said, I was a little worried about how the cheese and everything would come into play, but it works out nicely, tastes pretty good. Get the sauce. They're not going to charge you anything extra for it, and uh, that's all that I have for you. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and today's review is for the stacker from Taco Bell. Thank you, and take care.